Okay, so I've installed it into Sketch and what we will do is have a quick look at how that works. I'll start here by going to the insert button, artboard. Um, I'll just select an iPhone 5 from the right and I've got my artboard on here. I'm going to use Craft to do um, a style sheet. Now style sheets are pretty good, so what you can do is if I go to the um, shapes up here, I'll just get a rectangle shape and I'm just going to make um, some colors. I'll turn off the border here and I'll just come along and click here and I made it red. I will now alt drag and I'll make that and I'll make this one blue and then I'll alt drag again and make this um, uh, green. So I've got three different blocks there. Now I'll go back to the insert button top right and I will insert some text. I click here. I've got that on there. Um, my text is here, it's in white, so I will change that to make it black. And all I'll do is I'll just alt drag that again. Um, I'll come along here and I'm going to change the actual font. So I'll change it for something that probably stands out a bit. Oops, maybe not. Okay, right, so I've changed that and what I might do is change the uh, size of it, make it a bit bigger. There we go. So all I've done is I've put some elements on there um, and we're going to make a style sheet from that. So if I go here to the craft panel on the right, third one down, if I click here, it says styles. And if I click on here, I can create a style. If you want to know how to use it, there's a sort of training overview video that's available on the link below. I click create styles. Now when you click on create styles, you will see it's done a color panel for you. That's an artboard. And also it's done the, um, the fonts you're using. And also it's got different styles of how you've laid them out. Now these are sort of in order. So we'll say that's your H1 and your H2. Now, where your um, initial artboard's gone, screen, if I go up here on the side here, I can click here and it's on the first page. So I go back here and, and I'm back to where I started. So say for example, I want to change um, my text. If you come back here, I will come along here and say, okay, these are my two different, so say the Helvetica, I want to change the second one. So if I go back to my page here, first page on this artboard, I want to change this. I'll change it to something you know reasonably notable that you're gonna see a change. There we go. Okay, so we've changed that now. All I do is I sync styles and when I sync styles you see um, it'll take me to the style sheet and it's updated it so it will update in both locations so if I want to go to the uh, styles here and say I want to change um, something like this the color red here I'll go over here and make it something like this purpley color then I sync you'll see it'll change the hex and the um, RGB color values. And if I go back to my artboard, it's changed it here. So this is really good if you want to create a style sheet for your project. Now the issue can be is with these here, um, these, these sort of panels um, on this artboard for color. You will see if I go over to the side once I've selected that artboard for the color palette, you will see um, the width is 820 by 240, which will mean that maybe if you export it as a PNG, this will mean um, if you enlarge it in another program, it might mean the case that it'll pixelate or not be of a high enough quality. So what you can do if you wanted to, you can... Um, expand the size of that so what we could do is we could go up here where it's at scale up at the top and say for example if I wanted to make it 200 and click OK um, it will make that artboard bigger if I just move that up so you'll see it's made it larger and um, you know it's fine here because these are sort of vector shapes but if you do export it maybe you need to click on the um, artboard you need to go up to the scale 
and make it a bigger size. So, you know, if I click on scale again, you'll see the pixel dimensions have gone up. So if you are coming along and then say making it file menu and you're going to, um, I'll just close that down. If you go into the file menu and you're going to say export, um, that's where you export as PNG. And if you export that, it might be the case that, um, you know, it's a lower quality. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can export them as PDFs. So I will come along here and put it on the desktop and click save. Now, if I open that up, it saved everything. But if I come here, Um, it's got all my artboards and you'll see I've made this one a little bit bigger and again it saves as a PDF you find the issue is is when you save them as PNGs um, you will have uh, certain issues with that